It takes a village to make sure a community can thrive. It's a very caring community. It's something Scott takes to heart. I can just help, and that's what I do. He's been parked at the Geneva Boys and Girls Club since 4.30 in the morning. I come 35 miles to get this stuff. We spoke at 9 a.m. Scott still has an hour to wait. He's one of around 400 cars lining up twice a month for this. You were first today. All this food, all for free. See you next time, my friend. Take care. Scott brings most of it to his neighbors in need, the ones that aren't able to make this trip. It really helps a lot of people out. A lot of people just don't have any money. Around 19% of Geneva is living below the poverty line, and about 13% of residents are food insecure. Executive Director Chris Lavin saw the need for healthy, fresh food in his community during the start of the pandemic. And judging from the line of cars waiting, that need hasn't gone away. If I can put $300 worth of food into a family's uh, house over the course of a month, that may make a difference for their car payment for their medical care. The pallets of food come from Foodlink, Wegmans, and local farms and bakeries. Food is handed out based on how big a family is and their ages. Well, that helps financially. It, it helps my budget. <laughs> Dozens of volunteers work, making sure everyone gets what they need. I'm going to keep doing it until they tell me I can't. Showing that it takes all of us. Geneva is a small city, but it's got a great heart. To feed a community. Rachel Nemi, Spectrum News.